Bakari, what does it say to you that <coughs> the administration is specifically doesn't identify what part of the course they object to? We're talking about an AP African American Studies course. Well, Anderson, I actually think they said all they needed to say, and they said this African American uh, Studies course doesn't have any value. Um, you know, I've been speaking to my friends about this uh, via text, etc., and and one of them just recently texted me that they're trying to erase our history, and that's exactly what they're trying to do. Bakari said as they're responding to Ron DeSantis down in Florida looking to block and actually not even looking to absolutely blocking an AP high school class on African American studies. It must be devastatingly bad. That's why they give the reason of nothing. Some details, Florida education officials did not specify exactly what content the state found objectionable, but said as presented. The content of this course is inexplicably contrary to Florida law and significantly lacks educational value. We're not gonna tell you what that is, we'll just say it's against everything that we stand for. You don't know that. In the future, should college board be willing to come back to the table with lawful, historically accurate content? The education department will always be willing to reopen the discussion, is what the letter went on to say. You saw that guy standing there, uh, sitting on the other side of Anderson Cooper and Bakari uh, Sellers in the beginning of this uh, video now, er, David Urban. He's a former Trump advisor, oh so boy. he's trying to figure some way to uh, come up with why this is a valid thing to do. See if you can figure out if this makes any sense. Let's well, both sides it. Yeah, so Anderson and Bakari as well. Bakari, I did, I did believe it or not, read the 82 page syllabus today, which I could send to you. And, and the, the letter that was sent to the, to the AP board says, listen, we dismiss this as presented. In the future, if the, if the college board like to work with us on something that would, would meet our criteria, we'd be happy to consider it again. And from what I was told, Anderson and Bakari, that this, this was declined because it sought to teach progressive doctrines such as intersectionality and critical race theory, which are violative of April 2022 law, the Governor DeSantis sent this, this anti-woke act. I'm not, you know, I'm simply telling you that what I've not delved in and read every, you know, every chapter of the syllabus, but I glanced through it. It's pretty, it's pretty dense. And I'm telling you what the reason was that they, they, the state of Florida, Governor DeSantis said that they believe in education and not indoctrination. Sounds like a bit of carrying of water. I don't really know what I'm talking about. I know uh, there's an 82 page syllabus that I sifted through a little bit here and there and claimed to have. But whatever it is they said must be the case because these Ron DeSantis, right? That's basically mm -hmm. the answer. And that's what they'd expect supporters to think of as well. As a matter of fact, this is what he told supporters as he's on the campaign trail. Ron DeSantis talking about what he's gonna do and he's doing it, watch. We fight the woke in the legislature. We fight the woke in the schools. We fight the woke in the corporations. We will never ever surrender to the woke mob. Florida is where woke goes to die. <laughs> it's the kind of thing that um, we play from some dictatorial country and they go, look so, at these guys. They're nothing like this shining example on the hill that we are, our democracy, our inclusivity, our diversity, the way that we like to uplift and uphold everyone's values and their rights in the country. You should be more like America, mm -hmm. except this is America, Rick. All right, a few points. Number one, what you're seeing on CNN a lot of the times with, and look, I'm not the biggest fan of him. But like the Brian Stelters of the world and many other respected journalists leaving is because a billionaire named John Malone, who is a hardcore MAGA guy, took over ownership of CNN. So you're gonna be seeing a lot of this now and we already have, it's already in full motion. To go to the second portion of this piece, which was the video, when I hear woke, all I hear, if we're being very honest about the situation, is not white. And frankly, as someone who screened calls at a sports radio station in Chicago, all I hear is the inner sports radio guy when they call in and saying black, black. That's all that I hear over and over and over again. Now, just to go through everything that we have heard from Ron DeSantis and then after that, okay? He sent migrants, migrants seeking asylum to Martha's Vineyard and he also paid Big money, almost $700,000 to a GOP donor. He accepted over $20,000 from a man who called Barack Obama a blanking Muslim N-word. He spoke four times at a conference held by conservatives who said black folks owe their freedom to white people. And the only race war is against whites. On the first day of pride, he put out anti-trans legislation. He founded the House Freedom Caucus. He's a stooge for the Koch brothers. Everybody knows about them. You guys are smart on this network. He's a stooge for the late Sheldon Adelson. 
He tried defunding the Special Olympics and also went after the Tampa Bay Rays because they tweeted after Uvalde facts about gun violence. This man has a history, okay? Let me just finish that thought. He defunded the Tampa Bay Rays' initiative to try and put money towards brain cancer research. So if you follow what this guy is doing, what he has done, and what he's trying to do now, it all fits a pattern that is very unfortunately, if we're looking at the grand scheme of things, modern day conservatism. It's uh, it's always what they have been pushing. It's just they they find this this motivation to feel like they can do it more and more in like broad open daylight and say, yeah, that's what yeah. it is that's happening. Uh, the reasons we have behind wanting to ban this class is because it's too black. Just say it, bro. We already yeah, know it. it. The folks that support you know it. It's not like you have to hide it from them. That's who you're appealing to, and the folks that you're uh you're against. Who cares? You don't care what they think. As a matter of fact, you're coming for them. We well, see that. You know, let's go back to something really quickly. It's that they always preach like this freedom, right? Like this is a place where freedom is preserved and you have the freedoms to do this and the freedoms to do that. And yet you don't have the freedom to learn about the country's own history. There's a reason they are preserving this. It's because of this white fragility that they do not want their followers and you know their loyalists to then say, oh, maybe there is a problem. Cuz then that's when the light switches on. They are trying to prevent this, bury this, cease this from existing as long and as powerfully as they can. Because if they continue to do that, these people will continue to stand by their side. Absolutely, if you're ignorant, you can stick with the ignorant and the hate. If you learn something, you'll go, wait a second, we can't do that because I'm against that. If you don't know what you're against, then why would you even be pushing this same BS?